Hi, I'm Jim Makowitz. I'm one of the owners of Wild Birds Unlimited in Toronto. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about feeding goldfinch. So goldfinch are now showing up in our yards fairly consistently, and they're really going after our Niger seed. And what we've noticed, we're getting some males that look just like that. So you may have seen birds around before that were much more dull looking, but males are going through their molt right now. So they're going into what they call their alternate or breeding plumage, and it's that very bright yellow, really black wings. And you will get a mixture. Some of the males will have some dull, kind of greeny, patches on them coming into that yellow. The females are always going to be a little more dull looking, but they're getting much fresher looking. But they really are going after the Niger seed right now. And Niger seed is this seed right here. So it's a very specialized food designed and really main purpose is to feed goldfinch. And of course for that purpose you also need specialized feeders. So feeders for goldfinch are a little bit different than your traditional seed feeder. But you'll notice <clears throat> this has very small ports on it. And that's to make sure that seed is held in very closely. So this is our Wild Birds Unlimited uh, gold, or Niger feeder, designed for goldfinch. You know, it's got the yellow top on it, and that's to help attract the goldfinch because it seems to work that they do, again, the flock mentality. These birds look for other of their types, so they see the gold, they come to that yard and say, hey, maybe one of my buddies is down there. So these are great feeders because, one, they do have a lifetime guarantee. If this ever falls, breaks, cracks, bring it back to us, we fix or replace it. Um, one of the great things about them is how you fill them and how you can clean them. So traditional bird feeder, fill from the top, pop the top off, fill the feed in, there you go, put it back out. Goldfinch though are very picky birds. They do like fresh seed and they do want to have typically a full feeder because they want to feed in their groups. The guys in charge are on top and it sort of works down the ladder down, the, down to the lower parts of the feeder, but they want a full feeder. So the problem is, my feeder gets about halfway down or further, I want to refill it. So either I've got to open it up, dump all the old seed out to put the fresh in to keep things moving properly. That's a lot of work. So we've got that solved with our easy clean bottom. Flip your feeder over, pull the bottom off, fill your feeder now from the bottom up to the bottom, this bottom perch. Replace your easy clean bottom. And now you've got a full feeder, fresh on the bottom, older on the top and everything's gonna keep flowing properly and the birds are gonna love it. There's other options, there are some other styles of feeders you can use. This is just a more of a basic finch feeder. You'll notice it doesn't have the metal on the ports. It's actually more, it's more of a basic plastic. It doesn't have that lifetime guarantee, but if you're just starting out in a finch feeding, this will work fine. You don't get that easy clean bottom, so you will have to dump seed out to refill it. But, you know, the goldfinch don't care about the quality of the feeder, they just wanna make sure they're getting good seed it's fresh and it's out there for them. Another simple way to start with goldfinch feeding are socks. So these are finch socks. So this you're just gonna fill up with the Niger seed. Goldfinch are clinging birds. So these guys can basically hang right side up, sideways, it doesn't matter. They don't care, they don't have to sit on a perch. So these socks work really well. Again, a great way to introduce it into your backyard versus say investing in a, uh, a feeder of a larger size. One of the problems with you might run into with your finch feeding is, again, maintaining that quality of the seed because it is important to keep the seed fresh. So one thing you can do is add these domes. That keeps and helps keep the water off that feeder. So that's going to, again, keep water out of this tube itself, and that's going to make sure your seed stays fresher again by keeping it dry. You can get sort of a whole set where you might say, because that Niger seed does have a shell. Not everybody wants to see the shells on the ground add a tray to the bottom. Now you can keep a lot of the mess off the ground as well, add a matching dome, and you've got a really nice setup. So that feeder, so that's a little setup that you can use to keep you know, your seed fresh and the ground clean below. How do you hang these things? Well, just out of a tree can work off a hook. If you don't have a pole system, you might want to consider something like our our tree hook, very simple way, put it over a limb and it's going to hold the feeder very really nicely for you. Other products like this cable, sometimes you don't know, well how thick is my limb, it might be too thin, might be thicker, wrap that around your cable or the tree limb and now your feeder will just hang from this so it's very flexible. You can also get real simple S hooks to hang that from a tree limb. Just got to make sure it fits over the actual limb. So anyway, that's a little about finch feeding. They're here, they're beautiful birds, you'll really enjoy them. Thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this and have a great day.